What is a buffer? And why buffers are important? Um, buffers are important in research, in biochemistry, in chemistry, and in homeostasis of the human body. So what are buffers? If you look at the definition of a buffer, then you can notice three things in the definition of a buffer. The first part, it tells you that a buffer is made up of two things, or two components. One is a weak acid, and the second is weak base. So, for example, the most common buffer system in the human body is the bicarbonate buffer system. It's made up of two components. It's made up of a weak acid, which is carbonic acid, and a weak base, which is sodium bicarbonate. The second part in the definition of a buffer is how does a buffer work? A buffer will take a strong acid and change it to a weak acid or take a strong base and change it to a weak base. So, for example, our stomach produces hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is strong acid because it will completely dissociate and release all the hydrogen ions, which means it will lower the pH. All of these hydrogen ions that we produce in our stomach will end up in the blood. And if it isn't for the buffer system in the blood, the pH of the blood will become acidic, which is unhealthy because it's not in homeostasis anymore. So the bicarbonate buffer system will take the hydrochloric acid and change that hydrochloric acid to a weak acid. And that is carbonic acid. So that's how a buffer system works. Take strong acid, make it weak acid, or take strong base, make it weak base. The third part of the definition which relate to the importance of the buffer is that by changing a strong acid to a weak acid or strong base to a weak base, the buffer will prevent drastic change in the pH. And that's important for the homeostasis of the human body because that means the blood pH and the pH of the body fluids will remain around their normal pH, which is around 7.4. So that's the buffers. And in our body, we have essentially three different types of buffer systems. We have the bicarbonate buffer system, which is the most common. We have the proteins buffer system. And we also have the phosphate buffer systems. Thank you.